Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to share what i kind of been working on here just so you guys, for those of you who are working on this or want to see what I'm doing and everything. So I notched these. It took me took me a little while to notch them. I notched both. These are my rails that go forward and backwards. I measured, just so you guys get an idea, this distance is, oops, let me look at it this way. This distance is one inch. And this is three quarters of an inch. So what I did was I left from here to here. Is from there to there is one inch. From there to there is one inch. This is my overhang beyond the car a little bit. And I'll make like a little maybe a bumper or something like that later. I don't know yet. But I notched these and then I notched... I notched the cross beams that go across. I'm just going to put one up at the top up here because I haven't cut the last one. So I notched this so it would go together almost perfectly. And it, it does wiggle a little bit, but I can square it up after I, I put them all in and glue it up and get it all ready to go. It should be close. You know, I mean, these are it, the, the camera makes it look like they're uneven. Um, and they probably are a little bit, but... It's not as it, – it uses, like, some sort of um, uh, effect to make it easier to be able to see at an, at an angle. So it's more of, like, a perspective instead of a, a rectangular look. But I'm going to move this over to the side just so you guys can see the way I did this, just to show you again. This is a softer piece. You can actually tell this is a light color and this is a darker color. This is a softer piece. This is a harder piece. So when I go to cut these – I just want you to see I don't have to push too hard. If I push too hard, it'll cut all the way through the softer material. And this is exactly the same way you would would cut notches or something like that with a bigger piece of wood with a chisel. You go down and actually if you know to work on to talk about like if if you're doing this at your house, um you might be doing something kind of like this with a door um, like door frames, you cut into the door frame so the the uh, latch for a door kind of sits into the wall. And if you look now, you'll notice that they're like carved out. Some of them use CNC mills and routers, but some people do them by hand. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of poking in it until it splits. So I'm not like cutting this hard. I'm just kind of pushing into it until it splits. And once it splits, it pops out. You'll see, it's hard to tell, but these are actually a little uneven, and I need to, like, carve it out. And be very careful if you do this. What I'm doing is just slowly coming in here. It's really hard to see with the camera, but I'm just kind of, like, peeling up. And if it doesn't come all the way up, all you have to do is just kind of slice it at the corner again here. And it'll come off. And same thing over here. You can slice this a little bit more. And get underneath that layer with your X-Acto knife. And it clears it out and makes it a little bit better better surface. And I'll do the same thing with this one. And I'll push in. The, the softer wood kind of pops, but you can see that the wedge, the piece that came out is, is more shaped like a wedge more shaped like a wedge and that it leaves like this is a more like drastic thing but it leaves that little piece there and I'm just cutting those off okay and when you go towards yourself with the knife like that be careful because you can slide and cut your finger so it's better if you go away from yourself um, I'm probably not doing the best at making an example setting an example. I'm also a lot more experienced at doing this and um, so I uh, you have to be really careful too if you push really hard it'll slice all the way through and then you screw up your piece. You can glue it back I mean it's not a big deal if you slice it off but um, anyways yeah so then the last thing I'll do is I'll put this on here and now this is my base frame. And uh, that's not going in there, so 
I'm going to have to kind of slice it a little bit better over here, or I can force it. <laughs> Either one. And then you can see it does wiggle a little bit when I'm done, but I just want to make sure that it's as straight as possible. And then these would glue onto these corners just like that. And then you may even want to brace it somehow just so it's not all glue on here to here. You can always brace it later, you know, put, put another piece um, maybe there or something like that to make it stronger. I don't know. It's up to you. Because that glue joint has got to hold here. You may want to glue something up here later, but anyway, this is my base frame. Okay, I am going to add in the cross beam that goes across like this too. I just haven't decided if I'm going to notch it or not. We'll see. Something kind of like that. I may notch it and then let it sit in there. Yeah, might as well. I got time. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> do you guys have any questions about what I just showed you? Um. I, I didn't see the entire thing because I recently, like when I had my waist sign up, I, I was going upstairs because I accidentally cut myself with the X-Acto knife when I was trying to like cut off some dried glue off of some of the pieces of Ouch. my screen. Gotcha. Sorry, well, I recorded that, so I'll post it up when I get a chance. Got it. Thanks. Yep. Sorry you cut yourself. It's all right. <laughs> 